Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 4610. Be still and know that I am God. So um, I am trying to trust in him more. I am trying to get RJ to trust in him more. Um, it's one of those things where RJ used to bow his head every time he went into the arena. And now, it's not that he doesn't know God or anything. He just doesn't bow his head before he enters that arena. And instead of watching his videos that he's done, uh, to look for God, he looks at all of his runs and looks for mistakes. So this year I am challenging him and myself to look for God. So he has promised me that every time that he watches, every time he has a video taken, he will with intention of finding God or seeing God in that run, he will one time, I'm not asking him to change his ways or anything. Um, and yes, he should look for ways to improve. But I told him with to watch each video on each run with the intention of finding God, to see God's work in there. So I myself am doing the same thing. I am going to be still and see God in something each day okay so which for me is hard if you know me you know I'm just always up busy bee so yeah not always an easy thing to do but that is our challenge of the day and my hair is everywhere sorry um all right let's just jump right into it that was in the chapel of course so off the hook all right I am Considering myself done with one thing, but I'm not. Okay, so this is the cowl that came with last month's kit, kit that you saw. Um, I used a different stitch. This is the pattern. No, I didn't do it like the pattern. Mine looks pretty similar. Just saying. But... I did not use the same stitch. Um, their stitch made it huge and bulky. And it, it when I say huge, thick is what I mean. Made it very thick and bulky and it wouldn't lay. and It just, not at all what I had intended it to be. So, still have an end to weave in. Okay, so I already did the first one, but that one. So one of these took one skein of the three they sent. All right. <coughs> so I will be making another one of these because I already have plans. <laughs> um, all right. And then last night I sat down and worked up. And this hat, I have no idea why it took me this long. I don't think I've ever spent this much time figuring out a pattern. I guess I may have just tossed it before I did. So, since I made this, I went ahead and made this, which is one of those ponytail things. Um, This will be one set for one of the girls, either Macy or Tori. And I will be making a second set because the wrap or scarf or whatever you're going to call it took one complete ball. Well, I still have one complete ball. So I'll be making another wrap and I have enough of this hat, enough left from this skein that I've had to rewrap and tear apart anyway yeah and now that I know kind of what I'm looking for uh, 
and kind of the pattern. To do it, I'll be making another hat, and I've got plenty of yarn for that. So I will have another set, and both the girls will get one of these for next Christmas. And I plan to have it done here in not too long. Um, this is one thing that I am working on and want to get done. Yes, I have 12 months, but I really want to get it done. So, that is that project. Um, and believe it or not, I don't have a whole lot of projects going on. I have this one going on. And then, so, this one is off the hooks, but it's on the machine. And, of course, you guys knew that I wanted to start doing two videos each week. One with my sewing and one with my crochet. That way they're not so long and it doesn't take me so long to make them and it doesn't take you guys so long to do it. They'll just be a little bit shorter. So, yeah. Then I decided to get this bright idea. And now I've got one project that's off the hook but on the sewing machine. So I guess you'll see it both times. All right. I am, I finished the blanket, okay, it is 13 squares by 13 squares, but, so, I am literally, I whip stitched some of this to start, but, the part with my sewing, my goals with my sewing, and I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but you got to understand so that you know where this is coming from. I want to use up my material. I want to either get rid of it, give it to a quilter, do something. I don't want a big stash of material. And then I have sewing plans for the next year or for this year, I guess now it is. And those plans include some certain items that I'm going to be making. But I am not buying extra. I don't want to have a material stash. And I am also going to be working to have less of a yarn stash. I know everybody says this each day, but if you remember, I still have a tiny house. I have the shell up. And if all goes right this summer, I want to get at least the floor in it and get it insulated. So those are my plans for this year is to get, you know, one piece at a time. I'm not going into debt for it. And, you know, I ended up here because I didn't have it done. So, um, yeah, I, I fully plan on taking some days and going up and working on it. And like I said, I've just got to get the floor joists across there and put the floor in and then I'm going to start insulating it. And I have the wood if it hasn't ruined. I have it up on a pallet. Um, it's repurposed wood. And so hopefully it hasn't ruined and I can still make the porch out of it. So, yeah. Um, but when I downsize, I am not going to have stash as most people do. Um, I plan on having a small stash. I plan on buying yarn with intention and, and fulfilling that intention. My goal is to be less wasteful because I have plenty of yarn. And what are my kids going to do with it when I pass? Hmm. Neither one of them crochet or knit. Um, RJ knows how to use the knitting thing and he knows how to weave, but is he realistically going to use it? No. I am going to quit wasting money by purchasing things that I don't need. So, hence the sewing. All right. So, I looked through my stash. I like this little blanket. And I had not done one in the old-fashioned way in a long time. And so, they used to... um 
you know. So, uh, this is pieced together because it really does not fit this piece. It's not wide enough. It's not anything. Uh, so, yeah, I literally took it and I don't know if you can see, but let me see if I can find these two pieces. But right here, I had to sew on a little extra <laughs> to get it. And I did. I'm using this up. Uh, this piece of material, um, and believe it or not, just so that I'd have some to turn under, there is another piece that is about this wide that's sewed across the bottom, too. So, yeah. Uh, I just decided that I was going to back it. I am going to do it the way my granny used to do it. Okay, so what that entails, and I had to find my nail. Now, I had a nail that I used for a long time, and I don't know where it went. So I had to go out and find another nail. But basically, what you do is you use your nail. I found this one. Okay. And yes, it, it seems big, but what you're doing is you're going to create a hole through here. Let's see, I had a started corner so I can show you. Maybe I don't. Oh, here we go. Okay, so what I will do is right along the edge, I don't know if you can see it, probably not very good. Right along the edge, I will put my nail through each stitch and make a hole in the blanket with the nail just enough that I can get my uh, hook through. Then I will stitch on here every stitch that I want and then I'm going to do a couple of rounds and then once I get that done I will do one probably not one at every center but every four corners so that um, there is a pattern and just when I say uh, one I will tie so yeah that's the plan anyway, but it is done and off the crochet hook, kind of, sort of, I pieced together enough yarn and it's going to have a cream colored border. So it will be this colored border right here. And I have all the yarn. So I am hoping that with my nail and my hook, I will be able to get that. The hardest part will be getting it on. Um, I thought about whip stitching yarn where I want those because it just honestly would be simpler and I still might do that. So anyway, who knows? I don't know which way I'll, I'll get it done, but I'm going to get those two done. So those two I've been working, um, for the last two weeks on those, um, the blanket actually, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I've had it done with 13 squares all the way around and I wasn't sure. I knew I wanted to put a trim on it, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure if I wanted to back it or what, but I think I got it down now and I'm on my way. So the final thing with crochet that has come in and you'll see that is really all I have on the hook. I have finished everything done and going into the new year I just had the blanket to back and this to do and this was actually not started until like two or three days it was started wasn't even started at Christmas. I don't think you can believe that. Um, it wasn't even started at Christmas. I started after Christmas and did that one cow. And then yesterday that hat just whooped my butt. 
it's the first time I've ever had something that I'm inventing not go the way I wanted it. There's another hat rolled up in that ball because it didn't work out. And I will rip it out when I get <laughs> this going. Anyway, so I have nothing else that I do. I got my kit. So I got my kit, my newest kit. And they included, um, I've taken it off and I've kind of played with it and it's cotton. It really is. Um, it's a pretty color. It's all right. But it's called Comfy Cotton Blend. There is 200 and, 200, 392 yards. Okay. It is blues of all shades. And it's cotton. It's really pretty, kind of. So, they sent me four balls with the kit. Okay. So, that means there's 392 yards in each ball. So almost 400, almost 1,200 yards. That's great. That's awesome. So what am I supposed to make with this? Well, this time, instead of sending a pattern, they sent a letter. And it says, as our Christmas gift to you, we are including a beautiful, proud, a beautiful, perfect bound book. Delicate crochet in this month's I'm sorry. I'm... All right. As our Christmas gift to you, we are including a beautifully perfect bound book, Delicate Crochet, in this month's club. It is a $29.95 retail value and contains 23 beautiful designs to crochet, plus enough yarn to make one of the following. Filet Pullover on page 35. And I'm going to show you each of these. I already think I know which one I'm going to do. Mm. Here is the filet pullover. And if you remember, I have one in blue. Yes. 46. And this one is called the Flirt Cardigan. Which... I really love that one. Okay. Um, I like this one, but I think it might actually just be the colors that are drawing my eye to that. Um, then we have the Lacy Sleeveless Cardigan on page 78. Now, keep in mind, you have to remember, none of these yarns are the kind of yarn they sent me. Okay. And then on a page 113, this is actually the one that I am, the palmy cardigan. And it's there. Let me see. There it is better. I know it's hard to see, but there's the So, I really like this one. Here, here's a back. Okay. And I'm really liking it. It goes together in, what did I, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine pieces. And so, yeah. Anyway, they sent me enough yarn to do those three. And it says, we would like to thank you for being a Merry Maxim Club member. And we hope you and your family have a very Merry Christmas and, New and Happy New Year. 
So I got this after Christmas. And this is the book. It's pretty thick. And it has got tips and techniques back here in the back. Different stitches. It's got, I don't know. This one I thought was cute. There's two that I So, this one, and there's a reason I'm putting this off. I think that is cute. I think that would make an adorable thing. I think there might be enough yarn to do my daughter's size. Although I kind of want it to be my size, but anyway. But there is a reason that I have put off doing this. And that is sticking. So you actually have to stick the armholes. <sighs> That's a lot of pressure. Because if you cut wrong, yeah. I don't know. I've only done it once and that was with grandma and I don't know. Maybe it's time for me to take my crochet to the next level. Maybe I need to pay more attention and do a little sticky. Hmm. But anyway, so this is the December kit. I don't know that I will be using this yarn for any of those patterns, but I will be making some of these patterns from this book. I will be using up this yarn. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Not for sure. Love the book. Um, it's amazing. But cotton... Cotton as a cardigan. I'm just not. Oh, I, I'm going to work one up and see how it goes because I'm just not into the whole cotton as a cardigan thing. Um, but we will see. We will see. Ooh, sorry. I have to go back to work today. I had. So I had a three day weekend for Christmas which that Thursday is when I put up the blog. Um, but, or the podcast. Um, so I had Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday at Christmas. Then I worked four days and then I got another three day weekend. And this is Tuesday. So now I have another four day week and then I get two days off. But, it's a short week, but, yeah, and I don't know why I'm yawning. I went to bed on time. I'm good. I have no clue. Just yawning. Um, so, let's talk about, let's go on into, there's nothing in the fields, in the thing, no gardening, no anything. Um, little duck is out there. He made it through the really bad weather. So the 22nd, 23rd, no, I think it's like 26th, right in there. So the week that I podcast last, the end of that week, we had a snowstorm come through and it was very bad. Roommate didn't have to go to work. I did. Um, but there was ice and there was snow. Um, it really didn't get bad until time to go home. So when I pulled up at work at nine o'clock, it was no big deal. And then coming back to the house, um, I didn't. It was like blizzard conditions at lunch and roommate was here to let the dogs out. So I just didn't that simple. 
Um, then it was cold for like two days. And then Christmas Eve I had with the kids and it was all right. It wasn't great, but it was windy. And by New Year's, it was back up to 65, 70 degrees. Yep. So we've had this whirlwind of weather. Um, for Christmas, everybody, of course, it was my bag themed Christmas. Everybody seemed to like them, seemed uh, to enjoy them. Um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, roommate, I did come up with a new blanket. Warm head chewed a hole in roommate's favorite blanket. So I found another one, and it actually matches roommate's red couch. So it's a red plaid. It was the closest thing I could get that was uh, velour on the top and uh, terry cloth on the bottom. Not terry cloth. Uh, on the bottom so um, and that's the kind that roommate likes this one was a little bit bigger so and roommate is not a little person so roommate was happy with that it is red checked um, that was the perfect Christmas gift gift for roommate um, the kids all got their bags of course their bags were filled with goodies everybody seemed to have a decent time now Next Christmas is already on the plate. I have decided that, so first off, I, uh, uh, I have some sewing projects in mind. Of course, you already know that this is for Christmas. And I'm going to get it done. Um, then... I have some sewing projects that I'm going to do. So if you just want to see those things, I have goals for sewing for this year. And I know I'm going to get them done. I don't really have, they're not like huge sewing goals. Well, one is a little bit, but yeah. It all goes into that downsizing thing with the exception of one. I do have one project that I'm going to do for the kids and that is in the sewing department. And I'm actually going to go and buy material, make those with intention, and uh, I think it'll be nice. So, yeah. Anyway, all right. I am going to get off here and let y'all have your day. I will be podcasting about the sewing probably tomorrow or the next day. I don't know how, I want to say Tuesday and Thursday, but I don't know how the days will go. Um, but I'm thinking Tuesday, podcast on Tuesday, sewing on Thursday, and they will upload. Now, the big question that everybody is going to be asking, we're at six short of the 2,000 goal. So, as soon as we hit that, I will do a giveaway. And I think I'm going to try and keep it simple. And yeah, I don't know what I'm giving away yet. Um, I know that I've got a skein of yarn and I did find some things on sale. Um, so next Christmas is all about toys. I got just, so that you know, um, uh, I shopped on Christmas day online found some amazing deals um got roommate a hundred dollar pair of earbuds for $17.99 yeah um roommate got roommate's valentine's day gift already <laughs> roommate couldn't wait they were like oh my god that's a good deal so and they were hundred dollar earbuds um roommate had been looking for some but they just were so expensive and yeah anyway so I did that. Then I found these toys and I got them for $39.95 and they're electronic. Uh, one is called Road Rage and it's for RJ. 
And basically, there's these two remote control cars, and when you T-boned the other one, the man jumps out and goes, boing, and you score a point. So, yeah, it's a game. They're, they're not just driving around remote control cars. There's a game, and there's rules, and all that stuff. So, I got that one for RJ, and then I got uh, Tori, my daughter, one called Knockout. And it's two robots that fight and you have to knock the other one out. I think you have to knock it over. Like they have to knock each other over fighting. Um, they're remote controlled. Uh, I think you have to knock him over three times. And anyway, his eyes are like green for go. And then when he gets knocked over the first time, it's red or it's yellow and then it's red. And then the next time he just shuts down, he's knocked out. So, <laughs> and that's how you win the game. And there's a point system and rounds and all that for knockout. So, but they're both games and I went and already bought the batteries and tested them because I don't want to get Christmas day next year. I have a 60 day return policy. I don't want next year to be, Oh no, they don't work. So I put batteries in them, got them. I'm going to test the blue car. Didn't seem to want to start up, but once I got it, the battery thing got it going, it seemed to do. So I'm hoping that it's not an issue. I'm going to do it again. I don't know in another week or so, just put batteries in that blue car. Everything else seemed to work. So, uh, I will be doing that. And so the kids are going to get, Mm. Sorry, the kids are going to get those games for Christmas. I got them on sale. Like I said, I got roommate at Valentine. We say Valentine because it was just the next gift. I'd already done Christmas and I was, and I didn't want roommate to have to wait. Well, I'm roommate sitting there as I'm shopping, you know. So, yep, we did Christmas Eve with the kids. They were here all day long. We had a big meal. We opened gifts. It was awesome. Um, but we did it Christmas Eve because my two kids' other halves had places to be. And I'm the cool one that doesn't make any waves. Um, so, yeah. And I got, in case you're wondering, I got the three sets done that were for RJ's mother-in-law to be. But... I do think next year all orders have to be in by December 1st. Um, I'm just gonna flat out say it to her and let it go from there. Because I did, I got those done. They were shipped off Christmas Eve. Um, then trying to think of what else. Pretty much it's been an easy two weeks. I just have been crocheting, cleaning out. And like I said, my goal for this year is to get the floor and the insulation into my tiny house and get back on track with that. Uh, the one thing that's been holding, everybody's like, well, what's been holding you back? Cost. Everything doubled, tripled. The whole works. So, yeah, it was definitely different. But... I am getting her done. I'm going to get the floor in and the insulation in this year. That is my goal. If you remember, the ceilings are high vaulted ceilings. So when I say insulation, I mean the floor will have insulation. Um, and then the walls will be insulated. Um, I've got to frame out the skylights before I can insulate the ceiling. And... We'll go from there. Uh, I also don't know if I'm going to worry this year about getting RJ's hidey hole done. So, yeah, I plan on getting that underway. It's going to take some money, and I got a little raise at work. And I figure with a little bit of budgeting and just going and getting all the joists first and then all the wood and just doing it, 
you know, one time, one thing at a time. That's what I plan on doing. So, um, yeah, it is what it is, and that's what I plan on doing, and I'm going to do it. So, get back on track, and then if I can get the floor and the walls insulated, the rest of this stuff, because remember, it's going to be solar, first off. And um, I'm hoping to just buy a small kit for it because I don't need a whole lot of solar. And if you can run an RV off of a solar, you can run a 20 by 20 building off of a solar. Just saying. Um, I don't plan on having, there's just going to be a small fridge underneath the counter. And... The only luxury that I'm looking at is a washer dryer combo that goes underneath the cabinet. That's it. So, and then of course, electronics and radio. That is the only thing, my laptop, my phone, the small refrigerator and the, um, uh, washer dryer, maybe, um, that's for the winter. Okay. Just saying, um, other than that, there's no electric in the house. So those are things that are my convenience. Um, my tools, I'd like to be able to run them, but pretty much I can run an extension cord. Just saying. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, we will see how that comes along and I do have to go back and get some measurements and floor joists put in. And once I get the floor joists, of course, putting the plywood on top is no big deal. And then I'm going to decide what I want to put on top of the plywood. I'm actually thinking tile. So with it being that I, I honestly am thinking those, uh, they've got some beautiful peel and stick type tiles, not the cheap kind, but got some really nice thicker ones. And I was thinking maybe that to cut costs. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I have decided that stuff like under the bed and under the cabinets, that stuff's not going to be tiled. That's not going to have, and then I'm just going to put a throw rug out in the front. So it'll be fine. All right, um, I am going to get off here. Yes, all those things are goals for me. RJ's doing great. He is looking with his um, videos with intention of finding and seeing God's help. Um, I am getting on track with the two new videos. This one is just as long. I don't know why, because I let the sewing creep in and all my plans creep in and well, you get the point. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to fine tune it. Just give me a little time and we will get them down to a little bit shorter, um, crochet on one sewing on the other and personal life, probably every which way, just cause it's all, it's life. So, all right, you guys, I am glad to be back in the new year. Giveaway when we hit that 2000, I will see. I know I'm going to give some yarn and I might give a pattern. I don't know. Just a pin. Um, it might be the pattern to the hat that I just made. That thing was a pain in the butt. Um, it might be that pattern for my head things that I make. I don't know. Who knows? I will find a pattern somewhere. Probably. I will talk to y'all later. Have a great week and I will see you in the sewing section. <laughs>